run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we have a B&M haul for you. So no, I haven't been to a Poundland yet. I really need to hunt out a Poundland. But I've been to a Home Bargains and a B&M so far. Uh, so next on my list is to try and find an actual Poundland because I know that that's the, the main hauls that people do. But today, you may have guessed, uh, it's going to be a Christmas haul, hence the hat. So all these items, well, bar one of them, are kind of Christmassy related. One of them is kind of Christmassy related, but it isn't wholly Christmassy related. So most of it is, though. So that's pretty decent. Now, I've got a receipt up here. I spent... £12.25. Um, now, I was kind of budgeting myself to a tenner, but there was a few different bits and bobs that I actually liked the look of and that I felt that I needed to get as well. So it ended up going over the tenner. So with that being said, let's get on. Let me share with you a few of the items that I picked up. So, I got these uh, 15 pack of the bow and ribbon set. Now, I think these are possibly called something else, but I always forget the name of them. But they're those little, you know, uh, ribbony type things that you slap on, on the top of a parcel. Uh, not a parcel, but a present. You know, I always say parcel because, you know, obviously I'm a reseller, so I always gravitate towards saying parcel rather than present. But, yeah, uh, but you slap on the top of presents anyway. Oh, and this is the ribbon down here, actually. So, there's two separate things. So, these are the bows here. Um, so yeah, I paid £1, I don't know whether you're going to catch that too much, but £1.49 there. Um, and yeah, I thought I'm going to get some of these because not all the time do I actually put these on top of parcels, but I really do want to do that at Christmas, um, you know, on when I'm wrapping people's presents. I think they do look really, really nice, and it just adds to the to the present, really, for me. So yeah, £1.49 for 15 of those, and that should do me as well, because I, I don't think I'd be wrapping more than 15 presents, I get about, I'm buying for about 10 people, so yeah, I might need a few more of these, but you never know, I might, I might just be okay, it depends whether I'm getting people multiple presents or not, there will be some people who will get multiple presents, but there will be others might, who I might just get a single present, so it might just be okay, or what I might do is just leave a few off anyway, rather than buying more of them, that's probably more economical actually, so I'll probably do that, um, so yeah, that's those there anyway. Now, in the first haul that I did, uh, the first kind of bargain haul video that I did from, um, where was it, Home Bargains, you saw I got some chocolate coins, now I love chocolate coins I really really do now I've not had them for ages but I actually went to a garden center a few weeks ago and picked some up and I realized just how much I like them I don't know whether it's kind of the way they're made or something maybe the, the shape of them that gives them a slightly different t taste or texture I don't know whether it's the quality of the chocolate maybe it's actually a bit lesser quality chocolate and in some circumstances, lesser quality chocolate can actually be nicer. So, or at least in my opinion, it can be. So, uh, I've picked some more. Now, these are uh, Belgium milk chocolate coins and notes. And notes as well. You can see they're £1.99. Now, yeah, these have the notes in. I used to love these when I was younger. I only ever had them a few times. But, yeah, I've got the actual notes in there as well. And they're little slabs of chocolate. Now, there's a lot in there. Now, I did look at the price tag and it said £1.99. I thought, oh, I'm not buying them. And I was looking at them in the little box that we came in. And then I picked one out of the box and I grabbed it. And I thought, blooming hell, there's a lot of chocolate in there. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to... And even though it is one ninety nine, I'm going to grab them. Because I don't know what the grams are on it. Yeah, 250 grams of chocolate, that is. It doesn't actually look like 250 grams, but, it's, but it does look like quite a lot. Um, but I wouldn't, wouldn't have said quite that much. But yeah, so it's uh, yeah a lot of chocolate in there anyway. So I thought for $1.99, yeah, I will actually pick those up. Um, so yeah, couldn't help but grab these. These are like the only item that isn't that Christmassy. Although some people do kind of associate these with Christmas a little bit. So anyway, that's those. Now, another item that I really wanted to pick up and I was going to be an M4. So these are 30 foil Christmas cards, five assorted designs, $1.99 for those. I don't know whether you can see that there, but I thought, yeah, I'm picking them up for $1.99 because Christmas cards, I don't know whether you've noticed, but in other supermarkets, in card shops, things like that, they are blooming expensive. They really are. 
I mean, in some in some supermarkets, you're picking up one card for two pound or one card for one pound fifty. Now, you know what I'm like. I don't like spending money. I am tight because I'm a reseller. So um, yeah, one ninety nine for thirty of them. I'm all over that. Now, it's not really in my nature to send cards to loads of people or anything. So thirty of them is probably a bit excessive for me. But I certainly will definitely be using ten, possibly fifteen, something like that. I'm definitely going to be using ten. Um, but yeah, as I say, possibly a little bit more than that. So that's cool. Nice little bargain there. Uh, I don't think they're particularly brilliant designs. They don't look like particularly brilliant designs on the front there. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that uh, so well, but you know, it's just like Merry Christmas and stuff. It's standard kind of designs, but I don't mind. Um, and yeah, it'll just be a nice little, nice little card for people. I do find it funny though, how we buy Christmas cards or we buy birthday cards and stuff and we literally write on them a few different words. I mean, I know some people write quite a lot of words, but we generally kind of write, hi there. No, sorry, not hi there. Dear, whatever, or, you know, whatever. The name. Hi there. Who writes hi there with a Christmas card? <laughs> oh my God. What am I like? Anyway, you see, you write like, dear, such and such. Merry Christmas. Lots of love, da da da, and then a few kisses. And this is what we're tearing down rainforest for. I mean, come on, humanity, get your priorities straight. But my God, I know we're recyclable and everything, but still, God, that's crazy, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't think many people write hi there in a Christmas card. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying with that. But yeah, so one ninety nine for those there for them thirty cards. In fact, should we have a quick look inside because there's no tape on this? Let's. Uh... Oh, here we go. You can actually see them here. So, so this is what it's actually quite a nice design, Matt. That's better than I was expecting. That design. Merry Christmas. I can probably see it now. I've tilt tilted it that way. Well, that's quite a nice design actually that's not too bad so um yeah i mean when i was looking at it on the box there it just didn't look incredibly appealing but no that's quite nice i mean it's a very simple design but it's a nice simple design so yeah that's those anyway now i saw these and i just picked them up because you gotta pick them up aren't you when you see these these are 12 mini crackers so they're mini christmas crackers i love the mini crackers i do we've had them a few times at christmas and uh, i will contribute these to the family this christmas so yeah 199 for uh, these little crackers here. I couldn't help myself but pick them up. I thought they were quite nice. Um, you know, they've not got incredibly brilliant designs on them, them or anything. However, they are quite cute. I can see the appeal. We've got a little fox and a little, um, what do you call it, polar bear and a robin there. But yeah, I had to pick them up. I saw them and I thought, yeah, I'm grabbing them straight away. They're pretty cool, pretty nice little things. Um, and yeah, so that's those. I mean, not, not a lot to be said about them. They are nice little things to have around the house at Christmas time. Obviously, I had to pick up some wrapping paper to wrap the gifts that I'm going to be sending. It's fairly standard wrapping paper. This one just says uh, Merry Christmas around it and you can probably see on there if I turn that around. I don't know whether you're getting that there. It says one pound up there I think. Where is it there? Yeah, one pound for four meters holographic wrapping paper. And again with this one it's kind of a it's a little car design. There's a little... I don't know whether you're going to get that so well there, but there's a little car and it's covered in snow anyway. And it's got a Christmas tree on top. You know, fairly standard designs, but for a quid each, I, I can't um, I can't pass up on those. Can't really go wrong on those. So yeah, quid each for those. And then I got a very standard uh, little milk chocolate advent calendar for myself. Um, it was only... Was it a pound? I think it was a pound or something. Let me check here. Advent... Yeah, one pound. Yeah, it was a pound, so... So one pound for that. Uh, probably got some cheap chocolate in, but as I said, you know, sometimes cheap chocolate can actually be quite nice. It's usually hit or miss with these cheaper advent calendars. Sometimes the chocolate isn't very nice in them, and other times it's actually, even though it's cheap chocolate, it's still quite nice to, to have. So yeah, it, it is kind of hit or miss, but I thought I'd get myself one of those. I have previously in the past got myself some quite expensive advent calendars, but this year I'm not really that bothered. I'll just have a cheap one. Um, so yeah, I uh, just got this nice design on the front there as well with uh, Santa Claus, reindeer, I think a couple of elves or something, yeah. And uh, yeah, and then the Christmas tree in the middle there. So yeah, that's that one. And then you know what we do at uh, uh, B&M or at Sainsbury's or at Weight Row, or wherever it is, it doesn't really matter what the supermarket is, quality save, wh wherever. They always put things near the till, don't they? There was a huge stack. Now, this wasn't on the... You know, you get those little um, very, very small shelves on the actual conveyor belt of the tills, and we have things on magazines, or we have uh, chewing gum, or we have... 
uh, I've seen nuts and stuff on there before, loads of different things. It wasn't quite there, but it was near the till. It was near the till, and there was a big stack of these, and I thought, oh, I can't help but grab one of these. So it's just a selection, but you know what I'm like with chocolate. Yeah, I go into a blooming cheap supermarket, and I just want to buy all the chocolate. I've always said if ever I get in, come into a lot of money, I'd just go into the supermarket and buy up, like, loads of the chocolate. Literally, I would just get, like, trolleys and trolleys full of chocolate just because I could afford it, you know? I just love chocolate. I really do. I love buying it. Yeah, this was never till. It was £1.69. I thought, blooming hell, that's a good price for a nice little selection box like that. So it's just, a, you know, one of the smaller Cadbury selection boxes. I think this isn't the smallest one. I think there is a smaller one than this, so possibly between small to medium-sized one this. Um, but yeah, one. 69. I've got to pick that up. We've got a fudge in there, buttons, dairy milk. We've got a double decker, crunchy. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, and a whisper as well in there. So, yeah, quite a nice little selection there. So, for £1.69, you're getting a good bit of chocolate there. I mean, if you bought all those bars individually, I mean, you're probably looking at about £2.50 to three quid there for all those individual bars. So, you know, you're getting a decent little bargain on uh, £1.69 there. In other supermarkets, this might be more like two quid, £2.50, something like that. Um, I know in Quality Save, I think it's a similar price as well as, as B&M. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that one there. And that is it for the B&M haul. So just a few items for Christmas there, getting ready for Christmas, uh, getting stuff, st stuff sorted for Christmas as well. So with that being said, I will leave this whole video here. If you did like it, then please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any comments, questions or queries, please do drop them down below. And if you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we do mainly reselling content on this channel. I've started doing these kind of bargain hauls as well. And I'm just going to see how they go down as well on the channel. Because as I said in a video a while ago, I'm going to start incorporating a little bit more life content into the channel as well. Not just solely reselling selling but it's still going to be the main focus of the channel reselling is um so yeah we do a bit of that and we do other bits and bobs as well just random videos here and there so uh, with that being said if that's something you would like to uh, you know to get involved with then please do consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys